Stickers to the North Pole Wonderland. <sighs> it's that time of year again. The smell of artificial pine earth freshener in the air, and the same Christmas CD we've been playing since November, going round and round in the head. I had to sleep on the sofa last night. My husband said I was singing jingle bells in my sleep like one of those creepy dolls whose batteries have run down. Oh, I don't know. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. See? That's how it gets you. Until the 25th of December, my brain just isn't me hood. <laughs> Come for Santa's Grotto. Through the door and follow the candy canes to the North Pole Wonderland. Geordie loves Christmas, but he always said she were a few currants short of a fruitcake. <laughs> All the same, when her name came out, they had to be the grotto helper this year. I wasn't that happy. I mean, she did it last year, and it's usually a cushy number. Just stand and keep the kids and the parents waiting in line in order, and hand out the lucky dip presents to each child. Best of all, Bob is our Santa. Well, he brings in his own homemade mince pies and they are delicious. His daughter runs a bakery, so she's always sending him off with plenty of festive snacks. The chocolate yule log she sent in last year, oh, oh, I mean, oh, I can almost still taste it. Both for Santa's Grotto. Oh, lovely. Got your list with you. How many pages? My, you're well prepared. <laughs> Through the door, follow the candy cane signs. You can't miss it. <laughs> Ooh, it's freezing out here. It's lovely and warm in there with the endless cups of tea. Bob has to keep his ho ho holes from going all croaky. But no, Jodie got away again. <laughs> she didn't look too happy though. When the manager gathered, he announced that instead of a usual uniform with added L fat, well, he wanted something a bit more theatrical this year. I bet you can't eat that many mince pies in a polar bear costume. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> 